Let's talk about Mark Zuckerberg. Ooh. So uh, Meta uh, yep. just announced their rollout for their new headset, virtual reality yep. glasses, um, will allow you to uh, live stream mm -hmm. um, straight from your glasses onto Facebook, into Instagram. Crazy. Um, yeah. Something that you know can definitely revolutionize a variety of different things, but that is potentially a new a new uh way to communicate human interaction and uh just social media as ge in general like you know it's one thing to actually pull out a phone and and document something but if you can just normalize just having a regular conversation and as we're having a conversation as i'm just looking at it's also what i'm seeing everybody else is seeing as well um mm -hmm. that goes directly into the cell phone no um, you know that that's that's something that's different that's not currently being offered right now mm -hmm. Uh, but it didn't help the stock um, when that news came out. I think the stock was actually down the next day after that. But potentially long term, what's the views on these glasses, Ray-Ban glasses? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot more affordable than the Apple headset, for sure. By far. Uh, so what's what's the what's the thoughts on how this can actually, you know, be implemented into society? Um, I actually like the I had the, the beta version. Um actually somebody at the London show gave me a pair. They weren't able to live stream, but able to take photos, play music, take phone calls off of them. Um I actually like the glasses. I know there was some pushback of the comparison of like the snap spectacles, and I had those. I think these are a lot better. Um, but most importantly, I think that Zuckerberg in his interview with Lex Friedman did a great job in how they improved the metaverse. This looks hyper realistic. Yeah, um, yeah. So a hell of an improvement from what looked like Nintendo Wii before this next iteration was great. But I think the adage of ship fast and break stuff that no longer applies when like you're a multi trillion dollar company. I think if they would have released this version of metaverse first, they would have had a greater yeah. impact and had people more excited. As far as the glasses, I love um, it's a lot easier way to stream. And to be very honest, even though the version I had, the megapixels weren't the highest, it was a lot easier to capture video and photos there. So if I can live stream from it, um, I'm looking forward for, for mine to be in uh, pretty soon. But the thing that I am most impressed with is the improvements in the metaverse. I think that's like a 100x improvement on the first iteration that they delivered. Yeah, that that metaverse. Uh, I think the whole episode is based on them inside the metaverse. If Absolutely. you're watching it, it almost feels like they're they're sitting across from each other. Mm -hmm. And so, rather than having, like you said, like the video game Roblox character, you, it's it's you. Yeah, like the computer imagery is so real. Like it feels like you can reach out and actually touch the person's face. Um, yeah. Which, like I said, that was incredible to see how fast they were able to get the technology, and take into account the consumer feedback from what people thought of the original iteration of it. I think that was important. Uh, the glasses, I mean, we just had this conversation before we started, right? It was like, there is, th there's something about being first to market. That it matters. You have an advantage over the competition. And so when you look at it, yes, the ability to live stream, but th from an informational standpoint, the ability to look at something, be unaware of what it is, and for the glasses to give you information in real time about what you're seeing. So yeah. a lot of times you, you'll walk, and they had a, a demonstration where they walked in, it was a foreign language, and they were the, the glasses were able to translate what was on the menu or where we're, uh, where we're sitting at. So That's a lot of Mexico. <laughs> you'll be wearing them everywhere you travel, right? Like yes. imagine you're in, you're in Europe and you don't speak the language, and now yeah. you're actually able to be translated what the language is for you is revolutionary it and it feels very simple i feel like you know that the collaboration with ray-ban it doesn't feel like you're wearing a helmet on your face right mm -hmm. like it, it's glasses it, it it can go with everyday wear and it's affordable which they hit on a couple of key points if i'm watching what the competition is doing there are yeah. some key sticking points that people aren't really happy with they aren't really happy with the size of of the device they aren't happy with the price points Okay, yeah. well, what did they put out? They just put out their their new product. And I'm speaking of Apple, the, the 15. Well, okay, well, that rollout has happened. What happens two weeks after or a week after? October 17th, you can get these glasses. Whereas yeah. we're still waiting on Division Pro. That won't happen until the first quarter of next year. And I think that's just for select clients. And so you're first to market. 
Uh, and I get the, the the price point works, and it's right in time for the holiday season. And so, yeah, you had the Oculus, and you were able to see some of the feedback from that. Yeah. There's something that's smaller, something that can be carried by any person, right? It could be carried by school age children to you know somebody that's working on Wall Street or somebody that's outside in construction. Like these, the the revolution of technology that's happening inside of, inside of this device is pretty incredible. I got to give them uh, credit for that. Zuckerberg yeah. has struck one. This, this is another yeah. one for him. I want to be very clear, though. When the Vision Pro comes out, it's a different product. This is augmented reality plus live stream and a photo. So they're different. I do love the product, but I do want to be clear. So when this gets clipped up, that the Vision Pro is going to be better. But I do love this. So shout out to everybody at HQ, everybody in the New York office. I know Keys is going up there tomorrow, but shout out to everybody um, at Meta for the, the changes and adjustments that you guys have made.